Hello, all of my Kim McLean medallion, Mariner's Compass medallion quilt people. I have been gone for eight months because of all of these silly flowers up here. I was really in a funk. I couldn't get past it. And finally, I got my third corner done. And I said, that's it. I'm pressing through. I'm going to get that fourth quarter done, which, as you can see, ah, I did it. Yay, me. I am not a real big fan of my little cutout pieces on there. So I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to my border and I have 72 of those flowers, plus the leaves that have cutouts. I don't know, but I am going to do something. When I was piecing my corners on, um, I, in the instructions in the book, it told us to trace on the back of our corner pieces, but I actually had, when I traced my design onto my background, I went ahead and traced around that big triangle with my um, friction pen. And so I already had my lines on the front, and so I cut a quarter of an inch away from the drawn line, and I did use my template. I put my, my template, my corner template, onto my corner to make sure that they were, in fact, the right size, and I was very happy that they were. And so um, I just put the seam allowance, I cut out with my seam allowance the fourth of an inch away from those lines, and then I was able to attach it to my medallion, and it fit. Okay, it laid flat, and that's always a good thing. And then I went ahead and I went with a, a purple um, border on here that my little, uh, was going to be the one half inch um, border on there. And now I'm ready for my next border, which in this case, I'm introducing a new fabric. And this fabric will become the uh, borders around um, that have the applique on them. So they'll be um, this new fabric. And um, because I do travel sometimes and I like to take handwork with me, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've cut out a freezer paper because I'm going to use the freezer paper method on my scalloped border. And so I've cut out all of my pieces and I've um, pre-adhered them. I don't know if that's good English or not, but I've already ironed them. I pressed them onto the backs of all of my fabrics and I actually used for all of my, my fabrics, my scallops, I used a different fabric for each one because I have a lot of scraps and I figured why not? Might as well. And um, so I have that. I'm going to trim them down as I'm traveling and I'll be able to hand stitch uh, to baste these and have them ready to um, to sew down, to applique onto my border. And on my border piece, I have not yet drawn the lines because you're supposed to draw a, a, a line that's a half an inch. And um, I have not done that yet. I figured I would go ahead and get all my scallops ready. But I'm very happy to be back and actively working on my Mariner's Compass because, you know, it was a year ago that I actually started this project. So I really need to get busy. I want to finish it before this year is up. So wish me luck and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.